receipts. I would love to see your husband's collection of receipts. It must be very amazing. <laughs> but, uh, the it's, World Guinness <laughs> Book of World Records of Receipts. This is one of those symptoms of the control freak, right? Yeah. When I wrote this book, I remember I, one of the examples I have is very similar to this because there are That's people right. that just, you know, control through finances, through money. And uh, this has got to be kind of, uh, oh, such a pain for you. What can you do? Well, uh, here's the deal. You have to understand what it's coming from, and usually it's not coming from some kind of aggressive need to control, no. more from a lot of anxiety That's that key. our finances are going to disappear. Understand this about yeah. your husband. He's doing this out of anxiety. It probably has very little to do with you. It yeah. may have something to do with his history or something he had modeled, it sounds like, in your question. But the point is, uh, if you can understand, this is fueled by anxiety. It has more to do with him than it does with you. You'll give him a little bit more grace. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to rule, run the rest of your life by tabulating no, all No, don't let him off the, the hook. In fact, my, my suggestion is get a little creative. Sit down with him and say, look, how can we accomplish your goal of feeling relaxed about our finances and like they're not going to disappear and you'll be jolted by a surprise right. without the receipt thing? You know, could, could you give me a definite amount of cash for my expenses, for the things I'm in charge of, that we both agree on, and that's what I spend, and I don't go over that, and it's my job to steward that to the wisest ability I can, and I let you know if something extraordinary happens. That may eliminate his anxiety. Yeah. He may immediately feel like, oh, that, that's a great solution, and then you know where you stand, and you don't have to monkey around with these little receipts that are driving you nuts. Now, if he doesn't agree to creative solutions, he's not open to brainstorming, and he experiences kind of rigid over-control, I, I would suggest it might be time to invite a third party in, just to sit down, yeah. maybe a financial advisor even, doesn't have to be a counselor, to bring some models and some clarity to your thinking. Some ways to help him manage his anxiety and so that the two of you can live at peace as well.